This tutorial shows how to create a logic extension by using the nested logic extension feature to generate a message for how much is saved with a discount. In this tutorial, we will create a child logic extension to calculate the total cost of an item with or without a discount. Create a parent logic extension that reuses the child logic extension and calculates the amount saved after the discount and then generates a discount message. We will then test the logic extension. Let's get started. First, we will create a child logic extension to calculate the total cost of an item with discount. From the Orchestrator Studio homepage, click Logic Extensions and then click New. Let's add a name and description for this new logic extension. Next, let's add the data dictionary items. In the alias field, enter NUM1 and click the plus button and then change the name to item price. Similarly, Let's add three more data dictionary items and change the names to quantity, discount percentage, and total cost respectively. Now, for total cost, let's change the IO type to output only. Next, let's add a Boolean and change the name to apply discount. This Boolean is later used in the logic extension to determine whether the discount is applied or not. Click Save. Here, in the design panel, let's add an assignment block and then enter values in the label and the description fields. Now, we will create this assignment statement. Let's click this edit icon and map the parameters. Now, let's add an if-else statement after assignment and then enter values in the label and the description fields. To create a mapping, click the criteria builder icon and then select apply discount from the right panel. Notice that in the compare operator field, the value is true is displayed automatically. Now, to calculate the total amount with discount, in the design panel, let's hover over the line after the apply discount label and click the plus icon. Select assignment from the context menu. In the assignment block panel, let's change the label to total price with discount and enter a description. Next, we will create this assignment statement. Total cost is equal to total cost into 1 minus discount percentage. Click the edit icon and add mappings in the assignment builder window. Now let's save and then test the logic extension. Enter the item price as 100, quantity as 2, discount percentage as 0.1 and apply discount as true. Here we can see the correct output. Now let's create a nested logic extension by reusing this logic extension. We will add the calculate item cost with discount logic extension twice in the parent logic extension to calculate the amount saved after the discount and then generate a discount message. For this new logic extension, let's enter the name as generate discount message and enter a description. Here, let's select logic extension and change the value in the label field as call calculate item cost with discount and add a description. Let's search and select the calculate item cost with discount logic extension. Now, to map the parameters, click the edit icon. Add item price, quantity and discount percentage to data structure. And add total cost to the variables. Let's map apply discount to true.
Now let's click the variables tab and rename this variable item as total with discount. We will now copy this logic extension and paste it here. And then change the label and the description. Let's click edit and change the mapping for apply discount to false. Add the total cost to variables and change the variable name as total without discount. Now to create a discount message, let's add a string in the data structure tab. Enter ALPH and click the plus icon and change the name to message. Let's change the IO type to output only. Let's also rename the values in the name field for all the items. Now let's add an assignment here. Change the value in the label field to generate the discount message. We will now create this assignment statement. Let's click the edit icon and map the parameters. Now let's test this logic extension. Enter item price as 100, quantity as 2, and discount percentage as 0.1. Here we can see that the output is displayed correctly as, with the discount, you save 20. In this tutorial, we called a logic extension from another logic extension to generate a discount message for a customer. You can imagine it using in other situations as well. For example, to calculate taxes, or to calculate amounts in foreign currencies, or to iterate over an array to calculate a large number of item discounts. As with common programming techniques, you can create logic extensions as objects that perform some specific function and then reuse those objects by calling them from other logic extensions. For more information, see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Orchestrator Guide and visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.